Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we are looking at Salt and Pepper. This is a spicy game from Goliath Games LLC. This came out in 2016 uh, and they have fake nutrition facts. It's supposed to be like a coffee break game uh, or a you know like a lunch break sort of thing. Something you could play really fast, really easy with very limited things. So it's got this like spice jar with some pieces in it so you could play right out of the box. And it's supposed to take about two minutes to learn and about ten minutes to play from what it says on the box. So it's supposed to be a very simple game. Um, inside we're gonna see 19 double-sided grains which are salt and pepper, uh, one scorebook, complete instructions, and a hint of luck which I think is hyperbole but you never know. So let's open this up and take a look at this. I found this, well, there's a couple of these that I found, or three of them rather. Uh, there's salt and pepper, coffee break, and sugar cubes. We're going to look at all three of them. Uh, they were all originally, I think, around $8. Uh, but you can find them for a little more, a little less. I don't think they're very easy to find, though. I've, I've never heard of them before. And I play a lot of games, so... It was kind of weird to find these. I, I thought it was a neat idea for a nice quick game. So let's take a look at what we've got in here. Alright, it opens up easy enough. There's our pieces. How do you get these out? Well, uh, the problem with folding stuff is that the ba base is wider than the top, so you actually have to kind of get your finger in there. You need somebody with long fingers to do this. Taking the lid off probably be easier. Alright, so here's our instruction book. And it's just a three-fold piece of paper, real simple. Um, looks like the game is actually very easy. It's just a few paragraphs. And then there's winning the game on the back here. And then there's the Goliath logo. I guess originally these were put out by Tena, Tema, T-E-M-A, Toys and Games Limited. Because um, it's under license from them. For, and their copyright's 2014. So, Goliath put these out most recently, but apparently these were put out previously by a different company. Now, these are just two pieces of plastic fused together. One side, the black side is pepper, and the white side is salt, of course. They sound hollow, so they're probably not real thick. They'll probably come apart fairly easily if you're not careful. But there's only 19 of them. Um, the little score pad they give you. Um, yeah, it's literally just a little tablet. Uh, nothing fancy. The one side has little lines on it. That's it. And there's a fair number of sheets here, though. Uh, I'll give them credit for that. <coughs> Excuse me. The, um, the glue at the top here was real cheap, though. You can see where this is starting to come off just from me opening it once. But it looks like a simple, goofy kind of game. So I guess um, it's not too bad if you buy it for a couple bucks. Everything, all the components are kind of low end. It looks more like something you'd find at like a discount dollar store sort of thing. But yeah, I don't know. It's um, there's not a lot to it, which is which could be good or bad. It's a simple little game that is designed to be played in a very short period, but I don't know who the target demographic is. The lid doesn't stay shut real well, so upside down, a little bit of weight, it's already coming open. So any little jostling and things are going to fall out. That's disappointing. They could have at least invested in slightly higher end lid um, this is just a spice bottle like what you would get at any grocery store it's just plastic uh, not 
super high quality. Uh, the sticker around it is kind of cheaply made, so that'll probably come off at some point. Uh, overall, for what it's supposed to be, which is like a silly little game, I, I suppose it's okay. I don't think it would be worth the um, high amount that they were originally asking for it. I think that it's pretty overpriced. But if you pick it up for a couple bucks, eh, yeah, anything over two or three dollars probably would go against my better judgment. I don't think I could justify that. But if you're looking at yeah, I, I definitely won't pay more than five dollars for this. I'd feel kind of cheated at that point. So yeah, I mean the packaging is actually probably the highest end part of this. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would have a tough time justifying even five dollars, honestly. But if you see it at a dollar store or a discount store or it's just on clearance or something. Yeah, it might be fun. It might be a fun distraction for you and somebody that's not normally a gamer that doesn't like um, more hardcore games. They don't want to bust out zombie side. You know, they're more the Clue Connect 4 type, that, uh, which is traditionally what most people have exposure to. Then this would be fine. It's quick, easy game, uh, and you can, it stores real easily because it's a nice, thin little bottle. So... Yeah, I, I think if you find it cheap, pick it up. It might be an interesting game to play with somebody, kill a few minutes. Otherwise, uh, beyond five bucks, I would have a tough time with. But it is designed for ages eight and up, and two to five players. So, But that'll do it for this episode. I, I would say if you find it cheap, pick it up. Otherwise, uh, don't go hunting for it. It's um, the gimmick that only goes so far. But thank you as always for watching and supporting the channel, and we hope to see you on the next episode of What's Inside.